Hi, I'm Tom with Learn PDR Online, and in today's video we're going to repair this dent on the Porsche wing. Now, a door frame post fell against it from the garage, um, and it's just it obviously hit the panel here, hit a crease in, and a dent here. It's pushed the metal out on the bottom, the top, but thankfully the cover was on the car, so it's not marked the paint. Um, so, what we're going to do in today's video is go through the process of how we're going to remove it. Um, and go through the different tools and techniques we use to take that out with paintless dim repair. So stay tuned. So here we have the main dent and you can see the big body uh, sort of crease line that runs down. And then just below the dent and above the dent, we have the high spots, also known as a crown. So there's going to be plenty of tap and down work today, plenty of blending and some pushing from the inside. And for the full tutorial, you can visit us at learnpdronline.com. Now my customer has been quoted £700 plus the VAT from a local body shop. And the body shop advised him that it was the best way to go over paintless dent repair. Now that's simply not true, um, paintless dent removal is the best way to remove any dent damage that hasn't marked the paint. Otherwise you're talking about taking uh, the paintwork off, having to fill the panel, prime paint and lacquer, and you can never beat the original manufacturer's paint. So by taking this dent out today, not only are we going to save our customer a lot of money, but we're going to keep the integrity of his vehicle, which is very important, certainly for me and for a customer of this car as well. Um, so today we're just going to take out the dent. Um, I'm really hopeful we're going to get it at 100%. It looks fairly straightforward at this stage. Um, so stay tuned and we'll just see exactly how this repair turns out. So now with the headlamp removed, you can check out what access there is. So just in front of that brace, just up here, this is the start of the crease on the inside. So hopefully that brace doesn't get in our way too much. You can see the inside area of the dent, which is just round here. And then our second dent, this little one just here. Again, it's just behind this brace, but we should be able to get in at all through this section. like that to be able to get to this dent here. So I can get to the underside um, because it's so close to that kind of uh, bracing bar that we saw on the inside it's difficult to get a wide tip on it. So I was hoping to use a tip like that and just gently push it out from the inside But the, the, the reinforcer behind just stops you being able to get that over enough to get to the center of it. So I can only push here and I really want to be getting that line up. So I'm still going to finish it with bars and rods. Um, I'm going to take a bit of a chance with the paintwork and try and just do a glue pull here. So I'm going to use this, um, this gangrene tab, just a smooth series. Put a line of glue on it, put it in line with the, uh, the crease, and then just give that a gentle pull with the slide hammer. Some of the dents started to push out as I pushed it from the inside, um, and you can see it's fairly soft. So I'm hoping that glue is going to pull the panel and reduce some of that dent size and not take the paint off. Now the only reason I'm cautious about the paint is from experience working on older vehicles. Um, sometimes with older paintwork, it can be a bit brittle um, to for, for sort of glue pull, in particular when it's cold. Hence why I've got the hairdryer set up constantly, um, well it will be constantly, giving me some heat um, to, just to keep that panel and the paintwork nice and warm. So I do have a leverage block, uh, which is brilliant, 
for this repair I'm going to use a very technical um, product known as a block of wood or maybe two blocks of wood so sometimes you can have all the tools and all the necessary gear um, but often you just can't beat a block of wood so I'm going to use this for my leverage block um, basically once I come in without that headlamp in the way it's a big open space um, and I can use my leverage block and use some extension bars to reach it um, but I feel a bit more control without the extension bar and being higher or having the bar closer to the, the panel. So I'm going to set up this block inside the headlamp, a wooden block on side and it gives me just the right height to get to the repair that I want to or at least in the right position. So we'll take a look at the setup. So now I can get in with my bar, lever off this top piece of wood and I've only got to do really small movements to be able to start to um, leverage out that dent. So we'll run along with the camera, have a look at the dent with the line board against it and really start to pick up exactly what I'm going to do in the next stage. Um, so I've gone back to this tip. Which hopefully you can see. Um, it's just the same principle, just a bit wider, and I've discovered a, a slight angle adjusting these um, high-tech leverage blocks around that I can get in and just sort of twist it with just the right angle to, to still get the centre of the dent. So that's what I'm doing now. I've worked this section of the dent down to about here, just really sort of taking out the depth of it. Um, and now I've got this section here, which is a bit tight, where that, that lower sort of crown is. So plenty more heat and a bit more tapping around on this section here. Um, and then just going back to the process of taking out those lows and tapping around the high crowns and ridges as we go. Um, what that's doing each time you're tapping down a high crown or ridge is you're softening the metal or pushing the metal back into the, the low, giving you a bit more metal to push with so it's going to come up a bit easier. Um, so it's a bit of backwards and forwards with um, bringing up low spots, tapping down highs. Um, but really sort of working on those crowns and ridges is key um, during the process of the removal to make sure it's a nice even repair at the end. So now I've got to a stage I'm really in the finishing sort of process of it. Um, I've done a bit of blending, taken out some of the kind of ripples that were there, leveled it out and there's still just a couple of tiny little low spots in there. So I'm defaulting back to this very old tool uh, which I picked up many years ago um, and I'm going to use just the bare tip of it. So still plenty of heat on the panel to look after that paint um, but now I just want a, a tip just like this. which is just going to get underneath the low and just, just lift those tiny little bits up. Um, but the same process, I am heating up the panel, I'm levering off these wooden blocks and just really gently, with precision, finding the centre of that low spot and just pushing it up one at a time. And then probably finish with a bit more blending around before giving it a polish. Um, so here's the other dent. Just here where those lines splay apart. You can see they pinch together just along the bottom and again pinch together just on this top edge here. So this shows where it is currently high. And then this main section where the lines play out 
is the low spot. So I'm going to use this tool again and that's going to take out all of that crease running across here and then I'm hoping to get in at that angle and be able to bring the tool down to be able to work it out like this. But I'm just going to add an extension piece to it. Just to give me a little bit more reach and also some more leverage. So here you can see the reflection of the lines on my board. And as we zoom in a little bit closer, you can really start to see my tooltip is right behind the point where these lines are pinching together. And it's a gradual process, lifting up that low, removing the dent. Finished with a little bit of blending. Now here's just a recap of the tools that I've used for this repair. So I started off with a glue gun, a slide hammer, and this little tab. Uh, not in shot is the glue gun and the methylated spirits used to take the glue out. Um, my main hammer, blending hammer, these two little knockdowns. These were the main two bars that I used along with the tape and the different tips and taping up the tool end here. Line board, hair dryer and the get a grip clamp and those trusty blocks of wood, which were great for leverage today. So that's it for today. The repairs come out really well and we've saved this customer having to have a body shop repair on their wing. We've done it all with paintless dent removal, so no filler, no paintwork, um, just to keep it nice and original, especially on a vehicle like this. Um, so I'm really pleased with how the repairs come out. Um, I haven't spoke to my customer yet. I'm about to go and get him to pop out and have a look. But I'm sure he's going to be thrilled. Not only that we saved the panel and kept it all original, but also it was a lot cheaper than the quote he'd had from a body shop. So really pleased with everything, how it's come out today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video, found it useful. As always, um, if you have, just give us that thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe um, button above. And you can also hit the little bell icon for notifications. And that will let you know when we do our next video upload and keep you up to date with every video release we do. So I'm Tom with um, PDR Online. Thank you very much for watching.